What's good, y'all? So today, I'm going to be trying some food hacks, and I'm going to be trying, like, food recipes that I find on the internet. You feel me? Let's go ahead and get into it, bro. No cap. So the first thing I'm going to be trying is this Nutella cake thing, bro. Bro, you can't tell me that one looks good as hell, bro. Bro, that looks so good, bro. Let's, let's make it. So the first thing I got to do is add this Hershey chocolate inside this bowl. After that, I need to add some baking powder. Then I need to add some flour. After that, I need to add some sugar. Let's add some milk in there. Then, let's add an egg in here. All right, now let's go ahead and mix this thing up. So after I get done mixing it up, I'm gonna need to go ahead and put it inside my ramekin. Y'all, I just realized something, bro. I think I might have forgot to add Nutella in there, bro. How did I, how did I almost forget the baked ingredient, bro? Let's go ahead and um, add my Nutella in here. You feel me? <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and put this thing in the oven for a little bit. Boom. Six and a half hours later. All right, so once my little cake get done baking, I'm going to need to go ahead and add some powdered sugar on top of it. All right, now let me go ahead and try this thing. God damn, this is, this is good as hell. Wow. Wow, it is so good. Not gonna lie, bro, this is a fire, it's a fire ass cake, bro, no cap. Like, bro, bro, this cake's so good that I might just start making it and selling it, you feel me? Cause damn, like I gotta have other people try this shit, you feel me? This shit good, bro. Hey, bro, go make this shit, bro. Like, real talk. Make this shit. Go to your goddamn kitchen. Take your fat ass to your kitchen and make this shit, bro. This shit good. I was trying to have a drink this morning, but I only had a single ice cube. But then I saw this video. That's instant ice. I need to dry that. First what you need hell? some bottled water, but it has to be distilled. Normally impurities in water act as surfaces for ice crystals to start forming. But distilled water doesn't have those impurities. So chuck it in the freezer for around two hours and it just super cools without freezing. The molecules are now like a row of hyped up dominoes ready to topple and freeze though. So super carefully take it out and give the dominoes a light nudge. What no the way. hell? That ain't water. That's ice. And this is when I realized I have no way to Wait, actually use like this ice. But apparently, you, you can do the same it? thing with a single ice cube. So I gave it a go, and I couldn't believe what my little hell? eyes. So now I've got instant ice for days, buddy. <sighs> Not gonna lie, that's cool as shit, bro. I wanna see if that's true or not. So boom, I got me some more freaking. Fiji water, you feel me? Hey, y'all, bro, people be saying, like, Fiji water is, like, the best water, but, bro, this shit tastes like fucking tap water, bro. Swear to God, bro, Fiji water is so dog shit. But anyways, let me go ahead and get my Fiji water, and let me put it in the freezer for a little bit. Two hours later. All right, y'all, so it's been a couple hours, and I'm tired of waiting, bro. Let's go ahead and try this hack, bro. Let's see if it actually works. What the hell? But ain't no way. Bro, ain't no way. Bro, ain't no way this hack is actually true. Bro, ain't no way in hell. Hold on, stay up. I want to make it as tall as possible. Bro, what the hell? Yo! I didn't think it was actually going to work. That is crazy, bro. That is crazy, bro. Let me try this thing. Whoa, my hand is cold. This is like a snow cone. No cap, bro. This hack is cool as hell, but I didn't think it was gonna work. All right, so the next thing I'm trying is this. Chocolate chip cookie stuffed cinnamon roll. Oh my God. Oh my God. But that shit looks like a muffin on some real shit. But forget all that, man. Let's go ahead and make it. So first thing I gotta do is get my cinnamon roll. Ah, God damn, I'm not strong enough. Ah. One hour later. Ah, uh, boom. Let's go ahead and get my cinnamon. Uh, you feel me? Ah. Uh, let's lay these whole flat. Yeah, feel me? After that, I'm gonna need to go ahead and I'm gonna need to give me some cookie dough and I need to put it on top of my cinnamon. All right, now let's go ahead and roll this cinnamon roll up together. You feel me? Once I get done doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing in the oven. 
2,000 years later. So after they get done baking, I'm gonna need to go ahead and add some icing on it, you feel me? Let's go ahead and try it. Not gonna lie, I don't really like it, man. The cinnamon roll was hard as hell, and then the cookies in the middle is soft. So it's like you have to bite the rocks in order to get to like the cookies. I don't really like that. I think that though, if you just eating the inside and you just eating the cookies, bro, this thing fire. This thing tastes so good. No cap. I was. Ah, right, so the next thing I'm making I realized that is nachos. nachos in the air fryer is the best way to make nachos. Nailed it. These nachos have 21 Not gonna lie. layers. Doritos. If, if this hack is like beef, valid, bro, I'm gonna do this every day. Cheese, salsa verde. Then I added a layer of black beans and another layer of Doritos. On top of those Doritos goes another layer of Mexican God blended damn, cheese, bro. Some pickled jalapenos, you, you, a little bit you of feeding raw a, white a, onions, a, a, a whole damn Doritos, village, bro. Another layer of Mexican cheese, people do be some having a lot of kids. De gallo, more salsa verde. <laughs> okay. More black I see a lot beans. of immigrant people be having a lot of kids. It. A final layer of Doritos, plus some more ground taco beef, and a thick layer of Mexican blended cheese. Layered on some fresh jalapenos, put that in the air fryer at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. And if you're counting, there's definitely three more layers. Sour cream, guacamole, and some more pico de gallo. Uh, let's try it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So boom, the first thing I gotta do is add some Doritos in here. Then, let's add some ground beef in here. After that, I need to add some cheese. Let's add some salsa verde in here. Then let's add some black beans in here. After that, I'm gonna add some more Doritos in here. Then, I'm gonna need to add some jalapenos in this thing, you feel me? Not too much, I don't wanna burn my asshole, but just enough, you feel me? Like bro, I love spicy food, but I just don't like whenever like I'm just on a toilet dying. That's just it, so like, you gotta know like a good amount of spice to add, you feel me? After that, I need to add these tomato things. I think it's called pico de gallo. Bro, I don't know how to pronounce this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, add this bitch in here. Let's add some more salsa vargue. And then let's add some more cheese in this tang. You feel me? Alright, once I get done doing all that, I'm gonna need to go ahead and cook it. Alright, y'all, my nachos are ready. Let's go ahead and flip this shit on here. Let's add some more salsa on these bitches. Then, let's add some guacamole on top of it, because you know, you can't have nachos without guacamole, bro. You have to have guacamole. No cap. Not gonna lie, bro, this doesn't look too bad, bro. Like, the presentation ain't bad. Like, keep it a buck, bro. Tell me this shit don't look good. Even though it don't look as good as, like, the dude who, like, showed me the recipes, it still look good, you feel me? Because I'm trying, bro. Y'all know I'll be fucking up. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and try it, bro. Not gonna lie, bro. This right here is good as hell, bro. It's so good, bro. The only thing I don't like about it, bro, is that the chips are soggy. Other than that, this thing fire. No cap. All right, so the next thing I'm going to be trying to make is Taki powder. Hey, you might be wondering why I'm like in different clothes. Um, it's a new fucking day, my nigga. <laughs> I have to wait for some stuff to get shipped to me so I can make the, this Taki powder. You feel me? All right. Come on, let's go ahead and look at, let's go ahead and get to it, bro. I wanted a giant bag of Taki powder, so god dang it, Markiplier is gonna get a giant bag of Taki powder. Bunch of salt, a little bit of sugar, whole lot of MSG, delicious malted dextrin taste, a little bit of onion powder for flavor, paprika because it tastes like red, cayenne because it's spicy red, chili powder, a chili powder, chili powder for that little bit of bitterness, habanero to bring the heat, now a lot of citric acid to get that mouth-watering sour flavor, bunch of red because it's red, and a little bit of yellow because it's on the ingredients list. Spin her up! <laughs> oh god! Oh, perfect! Now we gotta oh, make man. a single Taki to dip in the fun dip Taki powder. Roll yourself a little ball of masa. Um, he'll strike it. Do you know Markiplier used to throw shot putting discus in high school? I looked up his old meat results. It's pretty solid. Now you roll it around a chopstick. And now you just shove it in the fryer. Just another minute now. <laughs> Taki's done. Markiplier, DM me your address and I'll send you this envelope full of Taki powder. Dip the plain Taki in. God, that's strong! Markiplier, I challenge you to a shot put competition. Woo! I feel alive! All right, um, let's go ahead and make it. Boom, first thing I gotta do is give me some freaking uh, salt. Ah, uh, how you open this? 
God damn, why? I hate the fact that I don't have nails, bro. I can't never open nothing, bro. One hour later. Boom. Finally got it open. Anyways, let's add some salt. Let's add a little bit of sugar in there. Let's add a lot of MSG in this thing, bro. Bro, I don't know. What is MSG, bro? Is MSG just salt? I don't know. It looks like salt to me. Whatever. <laughs> let's add the MSG in here. Let's add some maltodextrin in there. Let's add some onion powder. Let's add some paprika. Then let's add some cayenne pepper in that thing. Now let's go ahead and add some chili powder. Let's add some habanero in this thing. Now let's add a lot of citric acid in there. Let's add some red food coloring. Then let's add a little bit of yellow food coloring in there. All right, now let's go ahead and blend this thing. Boom, look at it, bro. It's done. Let's try it, bro. Let's see if it tastes like Takis, bro. It does! What the hell? This shit actually tastes like Takis. Oh my god. Okay. Now let me dip it back in here. <coughs> bro, this actually tastes like Takis powder, bro. There's no difference at all, bro. It tastes exactly the same, bro.